Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Indus Business School. I am honored and privileged to introduce you to today's guest. Today I have Ms. Nele Van Hulder, Purchasing Leader BUDCT at Punch Power Train. Mr. Philip Fourier, Engineering Leader at Punch Power Train. Good morning, welcome to the Institute. Good, Good morning. morning. Can you like briefly explain us about your company and what are the challenges and what are the things that you people face? Uh, briefly, an introduction of Punch Powertrain and we. We are uh, a company in Centruiden in Belgium that makes and develops uh, automatic transmissions. We are having transmissions in combustion engine uh, technology, in hybrid technology and we also go to EV. We have globally 10 uh, plants with the majority in Europe. Uh, we have five different plants in R&D, manufacturing and sales. We have two big hubs in China a big uh, hub in India and uh, in Mexico we also have uh, a lot of So maybe the challenges what, what we face now because we're just starting up in India. Uh, we came here uh, three years ago, a very bad period because of Covid. Uh, it was the worst period to come to India but yeah. I came here in January 2020 looking for a land, a plant in uh, Shakan area. I came back, we chose one in March. April everything was closed so uh, it was not the best time. But we're a startup in India, so we're facing now some challenges, of course, like uh, Neil said, from finding good talent, because we have a huge industry, uh, mainly the software industry. Uh, so we also need a lot of software people in our company. And at the moment, it's very difficult to find uh, talented software guys who stay in the company, uh, because we have a complex product, we have to train them for years. And if they leave after one, two years, we lost a lot of money. So the challenge is finding good people, Keep them and that's why for example HR is very important. Uh, HR has to find a policy to attract people but also to keep people in, in the company. That's why these that's why we're very happy to talk to these uh, future HR people for example that they know it's so important to keep people in the company. So I would like to know from you how was your interaction with the students? We love to see the huge amount of people that was that attended the class and it was a good interaction. We had a lot of questions so we liked the interaction. Mr. Philip, what you want to say, like what all skills they should learn in these two years so that they can easily be adjusted in the corporate world? For, for the corporate world, I'm R&D of course, it's, it's more the engineering side, but of course we have a lot of interaction with HR, with finance, uh, with all these uh, companies and we see how important these uh, departments are in a company. Yeah, so it's very important that students learn to learn the world of the uh, companies and that's why it's very good that we people like us can talk to the students already before they come to, uh, to that world and you see it according to the questions they have so they're very interested in, in the corporate world so uh, it was a very good interaction uh, a very good thing to do and we have to do it more because the students are the future of the economy right uh, so we have to teach them well that they're prepared for the life in the company what all the challenges you face and what you thing that they should learn so that they can like easily be adjusted. The big challenge we have at this moment in the market is finding talent. Uh, there is a lot of uh, requests from engineers and also people in, in corporate uh, functions. What I can only say to, to students is keep on learning also technique. It's not that you start technique that you'll end up in technique, but you need a quite solid background. That's what you need and of course you need to work hard. Uh, the first years of your career you need to work a lot of hours, you need to learn and also if you are somewhere in a company for a few years you do not know a lot. Uh, a lot of people think that after two years they know everything, after two years you just know a little bit of a company and just be patient, be reliable in whatever you do and, and always deliver good quality of your work. That's the most important and then it will come. Everybody will see on your path uh, in your career that you are a unique talent, but be patient, deliver reliable work and uh, just do uh, hard work, that's the most important. Apart from academics, what do you think that all skills they require? Like networking plays an important role? So soft skills are of course the same equally important than uh, your hard skills and, and soft skills. It's mainly departments like HR, and but every department and every person needs soft skills. You have to work in a team. Nobody can work on his own, you cannot do that. 
And you see that also now during COVID times, a lot of people had to work from home, but you're isolated, you're by yourself. It's not efficient. Eh? People want to talk to each other. You need to talk, so you need soft skills uh, for sure. And a chain is only as strong as the weakest link. That's, you need to work in a team and your team is as strong as your weakest link. And it can be weakest in terms of technology, but also weakest, <coughs> weakest in terms of social skills. If you cannot work together, we have very, have very. Uh, as, as a team, yes. as we have very uh, talented people, but if you cannot communicate, for example, how can you bring your knowledge to, to, to the team or to the product? So that's why I say it's very important to soft skills. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. Me. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs>